Hi, I'm Cliff Alaperti, and today we're taking a look at the back end of the Buy It, Sell It uh, e-commerce platform, BISI is what it's known as. And there's really an excellent introductory video to BISI over on YouTube from the guys from that company that's itself, which shows you all the features, but I wanted to take a look at what's most important to me and maybe most important to you as an e-commerce seller, and that is the products area. Uh, first off, this is the dashboard area, and I haven't done anything with this site yet. I haven't really told anybody about it, so that's why our gross sales are zero. Hopefully we can improve on that in the weeks to come. But the first area to go is the import page, and BISI is from the Inkfrog family of products, if I'm saying that correctly, and Inkfrog's a eBay listing tool. So what I've done is import items directly from my Inkfrog area, to my buy it sell it store and once they're imported they go right to this manage products page and what I've been working on are these chromo cards from this chromo gravier set uh, set of uh, film cards showing silent film stars been working on the actresses and I'm up to let's do Marguerite Clayton and this is the page to manage a product and if you're creating a new product you get the same page or you can copy this product to create a very similar one but we'll go with the import because I think that's probably going to be the most common mode of getting started so this is our basic info and I took that 0811 off that was a little code for myself because I might have more than one of this specific card but I'll show you where that goes in a few few minutes items taxable yes description and here's our import and it strips out all the junk from eBay, kind of, uh, you might be familiar with the import tool on Bonanza. This I'm finding it a little easier to work with though because I've got a lot more room and the what you see, what you get editor up here, which I don't need too much of but it does speed things up a little because I like to have my headings bolded, so there's that. And do that, bold that, strip out some of the unrelated eBay verbiage whoops bold that get rid of that and that's honestly a lot quicker than I can do on Bonanza over to shipping shipping rates are tad higher here but I plan on supplementing that with a lot of coupons which is an option up here in marketing as you can see so there's that and even the shipping between the domestic and international that tabs that info I input is there already and you can also do a weight based shipping if you have basically a calculated shipping free shipping and speaking of the tabs I think that is the highlight of this system the tabbing because it's very intuitive for me it's got all the exact info I want as I expect it although I skipped the Google attributes one here's an SEO page I just copy my title from up there and since I'm working with several similar cards from the same set, I have my description and keywords saved over there. And I just need to whoops, put in the proper name like that. And all the other text and keywords and all remain the same. I'll change that up a little from each different card set this is one of the key pages on the flow this right here is the most important part of this to me have buy it sell it track stock level you want them to deny purchases for this item especially if you're doing unique collectibles or antiques like me this way once a customer buys the item it's no longer available for the next customer and I've been putting weight in here too just in case I ever switch over to calculate weight now you see that didn't save you need the variation title and in this case that 0811 just so I know like I said if I have five Marguerite Clayton's I know to pull from my stack with the 0811 so that's very good for me too since while my items are often unique they're not that unique I do get multiples at times and in the case of trading cards multiples are all going to be different because you have condition and all so that's a good way for me to track that photos that's imported from eBay to Inkfrog to here and the cross promote tab I want to cross promote products by primary category which you'll see the benefit of that in a second save and that's it 
we go over to the storefront which is pretty plain Jane I'll admit that but that's what I wanted I wanted something I could upload products to quick you can see I've only maybe put in a total of eight hours work on this over the past week and I've already got close to 200 items in here let's find our Marguerite Clayton card there she is and this is our product page and here are those items like I said are the cards from that same set because that's my main category and I hit the cross promotion tab for that terms all stand out picture you can actually set it up so this white doesn't show on either side but here's what I really like about the picture that's pretty neat isn't it that's the most accurately I've seen my items portrayed in a system like this so let's add it to the cart and see what happens first page right here you can see there's my 0811 so again if it sells I know which one to pull and I can check out through uh, well the customer can check out through Google checkout right here if they desire or if they want to pay a different way it's a pretty simple one page checkout system and for us all three of these are set up very easily on the back end Amazon payments PayPal Google checkout can have choices of shipping can have choices of country and you get to the bottom hit submit order and your customers all set and you've got the sale so I'm constantly or I have been constantly looking for a system to set up my own shop because I think that's the way this is going eBay is not getting us to traffic it once did uh, Bonanza's not getting the amount of traffic I'd like yet without us putting a tremendous amount of work into it so if I'm gonna put a lot of work into getting traffic I want to put it into my own place and this we're talking ten, just under ten dollars a month and they actually just doubled that this week so it used to be only five dollars a month for all this uh, buy it sell it system if you use an ink frog I think you almost have to try this so at least I hope I give you a little push to try it if you're not using ink frog it might be worth a shot anyway um, it might even lead you in, into using Inkfrog as your, as your eBay listing tool. I'm very impressed so far, though. I think it's simple, and like I said, as far as creating and editing items, the, the most intuitive system I've seen. Uh, thanks for watching. This was Cliff Alaparty. Have a good one. Bye.